Hey guys, CatCom with Studio Sweat On Demand, and I'm flying solo again. Bethany's on a little mini vacation, and everybody was busy, so that's okay. I can do this. Halloween is over, and I only ate five pieces of candy. Eric, do you believe that? Five? Yeah, okay. Five and a half. I had five and a half pieces of candy um, from my kids' haul. Um, my daughter, she got 131 pieces of candy. Oh. Trick or treating. That's a lot, that right? Is a lot. You know what's funny is the area that we live in is like this older, it used to be like all old people in the neighborhood, but families are taking over. And so it's kind of intermixed. And so one house will give like a full Snickers bar, and then the next house will give like a cough drop and a fiber one bar. <laughs> <laughs> <And> <laughs> you grapes, know? And yeah. And then um, pretzels. The little girl that my friend, uh, the little girl that um, my daughter went with, uh, she came away from one of the houses and she's like, dude, we so just got ripped off. They give us pretzels. I'm like, at least you didn't get a fiber one bar. All right, so uh, trainer tip of the week is going to be on recovery. So, um, well, let's just get to it. So on recovery, we're talking about recovery during intervals. So not recovery from an entire workout, uh, recovery during a workout. Um, one of the things that you really need to focus on to be able to recover the most quickly is, the, um, is your exhale. So your heart rate's going to drop the lowest at the bottom of your exhale. And so when you're trying to recover and you've just spiked your heart rate, really focus on your exhale. The inhale is going to um, be natural, obviously. You're going to breathe in. So focusing on that exhale is going to bring the heart rate down faster and you'll be ready to go into the next interval, sprint, whatever um, your trainer is having you do sooner. So keep that in mind and you'll recover faster. Question of the week is kind of along the same lines. I'm going to read it to you um, from David. He said, uh, and this is David in New Zealand again, he said, thank you for telling me about the Carvonen formula. And by the way, Carvonen is spelled K-A-R-V-O-N-E-N. -E so Google that, you guys. I have found it and um, I will try it. But my question is, my max heart rate is showing is 183. Um, but the last few workouts I've gone up to 186, is this good or bad? Well, the first thing I would do is make sure that you're not just going off of age for your resting heart rate and your heart rate zones. Take your resting heart rate your, yourself first. So at rest, before your coffee in the morning, find your pulse, count to 60 a couple of times, uh, or watch the clock, sorry, um, for a full minute starting with zero. So find your pulse, again, start with zero. And you want to do that a couple of times, maybe three times, and then take the average to get your resting heart rate, okay? Make sure that that's what you use and you enter that into the device that you're using to track your heart rate, okay? Because otherwise, if you're just using the defaults, it's probably not going to be correct. So make sure that you do that first. And it's okay if you do spike your heart rate. Um, obviously, 180, if you hit 186 and you're not dead, then your max heart rate is, is higher than it's showing, so that, that's okay. But you don't want to stay in that anaerobic zone for too long, so make sure that you're, you know, that you, when we do it in class, it's, it's basically monitored because I will bring you guys down after we're there for anywhere between 10 to 30 seconds. We don't really go much longer than that. But if you've been mouth only breathing for more than, I would say, 60 seconds, you need to tone it down because you're going to start burning muscle and not fat. So um, just keep that in mind and again, check to make sure that you are, enter your resting heart rate that you've taken manually into the device that you're doing to track your heart rate. Okay, so that's your, uh, that's the answer to your question of the week, David. I hope that helps you and everybody else. As far as Studio Sweat On Demand releases, we're just about to film a spin sculpt class and we're gonna be doing circuits in that spin sculpt class. So that's where we do each exercise for one minute and some of that is time on the bike, of course, because it's spin sculpt class. Um, that'll be fun. That's going to be coming out Sunday. And then uh, midweek, Brooke's coming out with a high energy spin core class. So that should be awesome. Um, going into Thanksgiving, make sure you guys go into it fit and ready for some turkey. Have a good one.